stand it anymore. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. Calm oh, down. Get a hold of yourself. Julius, please let me handle this. Calm down. Now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't do your one on the phone. Everything's going to be all right. Please. Sister, please. please. Now, handle this. I've got to get out of here. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. That's literally how I feel when I'm on the Dan Celia show. You know what? Philly 500's talking about, well, you're under contract. You got it's a, under contract. Contract would denote that I was actually getting something in return for being on the Dan Celia show. I do, and I'm not sure why I do that shit, because all that's literally, literally how I feel when I go on that show, literally, that everybody's just lining up to pump, to big slack me, okay? Be that as it may, it's been a busy day running around and stuff with uh, all the kinds of things we had to do in LA and stuff, but what was kind of cool was I met a younger version of myself today, um, this guy who is a one-man restaurant he is the chef he is the greeter he is the dishwasher and everything else he even built this place okay he took a place that was cheap it was run down it was dirty it was in terrible shape and literally has cleaned it rebuilt it done all the decor in it and it's been open for about uh a month and a half and the food was oh my god it was turkish food it was the best meal i have had out here i'm not gonna lie to you people okay um it was good in fact when when we're getting ready to get out of here this weekend i'm going back there because the food was literally that good but i'll have a video about that because it's an amazing story and when you see some of the pictures of what the place was before it'll remind you of the red brick house anyway <clears throat> i keep hearing so much about dak prescott that dak prescott you know he's a choker and he's a bum and everything else that's what i always get from philly 500 and people don't take into consideration because here's how how stupid it is i was saying listen philly you go, I said, you started out the show literally laughing at the Cowboys because I talked about us getting Ab Albert ha Hollins as a big signing for us. He's like, you guys don't sign anybody or do anything. And I said, yes. I said, so you as a team that go out there and sign everybody, that a San Francisco that goes out there and signs everybody and so on. When we don't do it, you laugh at us and say we're a joke. But then you turn around and say, Dax a choker. So you're basically saying that all those free agents that you got don't mean anything because it's only Dak and Jalen Hurts, which is bullshit. And of course, we've got the traditional speak, okay? that This is the kind of shit that just, just kind of gets underneath my skin because well, let, let's just listen to it about, about the ceiling. The Dak has reached the ceiling. Hold Finalist. Do I see him winning an MVP? No, I do not. Neither. Do I see him getting first team all pro? No, I do not. But aside from the uh, personal accolades, which at, the, at this point may, may be matter to Dak, but probably shouldn't, because he's going to get around $60 million a year. Mm -hmm. You could run me $60 million to not care about personal accolades. <laughs> but it's about postseason success mm. at this point. So how could he be better? Is he going to win MVP? Probably not. Is he going to get first team all pro? Probably not. But could he get to an NFC championship game? That's, mm -hmm. that's more realistic. You've been to the division round. Can you get to an NFC championship game? Mm -hmm. Can you get to a Super Bowl? Can you win a Super Bowl? Those are all the questions for Dak in Dallas. And that's why I think his ceiling has been reached in Dallas. We've seen year mm -hmm. after year after year of mm -hmm. different versions of this team, different coaches. Second team All-Pro. Okay. Now, she does have a point in, in the, with saying the in Dallas part. But when we start talking about somebody reaching their ceiling, now let's be clear here. Dak was robbed of the MVP. The numbers for Lamar Jackson and Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott was far away. Even if you take the running touchdowns that Lamar Jackson had. And as far as playoff success, you know, Lamar ain't had any more than Dak Prescott, dude. Okay, he's two and four in the playoffs. Dak is two and five. So, and, and let's be clear here. 
the playoff performances that Lamar Jackson has had have failed even in comparison to Dak Prescott. But be that as it may, I want you to, I want to think about something else here because you could say the same thing about Justin Herbert that maybe Justin Herbert has reached his ceiling. He did have that one season with 38 TDs and, and looked like a world beater his second year. And to say that, you know, well, in Dallas, it's not like the Chargers have been building juggernaut teams that are going to the AFC Championship every year and that are going to Super Bowls. You could easily say that. But it's funny because people keep talking about reaching a ceiling. You know what's kind of amazing? is let, let, me, let me go down a list here. Let me go down a list right here. In passing TDs in NFL history, <clears throat> would you believe that Dak Prescott is tied in a group at 38 with 36 TDs this, se this, this season? Okay. Now, what I want you to understand is a lot of the people that are on the list are guys that have done multiple ones. For example, Aaron Rodgers has got like five of those in there. Peyton Manning's got like five of those. Drew Brees has got like five of those. If you actually, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I forgot. He also had another season where he had 37. Okay. 37 TDs, which actually gets it to 32. Saying that in all of the years in the NFL's history, the number of quarterbacks that have thrown 37 TDs or more, there's only 32 people. I say that because when we're talking about a ceiling, let's say hypothetically that is a ceiling. How many players do you think are going to reach the ceiling that Dak Prescott has? Yeah. He's had 4,902 yards, one yard short of Tony Romo's season. When we go down the list, Peyton Manning had 5,477, Drew Brees, 5,476, Tom Brady, 5,316, Pat Mahomes, 52, Tom Brady, 52, Drew Brees, 52, 51, 51, that's eight. Ben Roethlisberger, five. Let's see. Pat Mahomes, 5,097. Dan Marino, 5,084. Uh, Drew Brees again at 5,069. Matthew Stafford at 5,038. Justin Herbert, 5,014. Drew Brees, 4,092. Big Ben, 49, 52. Matty Ice, 49, 44. Eli Manning, 49, 33. Matty Ice, 49 24. Kirk Cousins, 49 17. Tony Romo, 49 03. At 24, Dak Prescott, 4,902. That is all time passing seasons in the history of the NFL. So, 14th in TDs in a CD season, and 24th. And all. So we talk about the season ceiling like, you know, oh, Dak has reached the ceiling. He can't do any more. Like his ceiling is down here and everybody else's ceiling is up there. There won't be many people that will reach that ceiling. And if the Cowboys don't make a Super Bowl, some of it will be on Dak. And a lot of it will be on Jerry and Stephen Jones. Let's be clear here. That guy is one of the best in the NFL. And it's a damn shame that the Cowboys are screwing around and literally not having his number one receiver in camp right now. Literally. That's on the ownership. That's got nothing to do with Dak. But then again, that's the way it is when you're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm going to say, just like I said on... Um, Dan Leo show. The Joneses will the Joneses will, will bite the bullet and pay Dak Prescott. And the reason is is he is on everybody's mouth. He is the lightning rod when the Cowboys lose. And he is taking the bullets for the Joneses. 
So, um, Joy Taylor, this is what I got for you, girl. Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there are no more 